What's good? What's good? What's good? Peace and love to all the brothers out there, sisters out there, everybody listening to the channel. It's your boy Carcino here. Let's get to it, man. Um, yeah, it's kind of strange. Today's been kind of strange. Um, I was sent a clip and links to videos, like about at least 12 different links and videos about J. Prince Jr., Better known to us is Junior and Joe Button. And I'm like, Junior and Joe Button? Like, what are they getting into it about? And I'm like, did he say something else about Drake? You know, because that's immediately where my mind went. Because that's the only thing I would think about in that situation. Like, what would these two even have to talk about? Junior is is more of a like Junior is not a somebody that is like out and about like that. Junior normally stays to himself. Um, like I've seen Jazz more than I've seen Junior in my life, and Jazz is more out. You know, like, people know jazz a lot. They see jazz move and do things. But Junior, I'm like, he mostly stay, you know, in Texas most of the time or out there, you know, around the crib. So I, I've i never really met him as much as I've seen him. You know, his father, that's why I call him Uncle Jay. That's, like, old school legend we from Chicago so definitely he's well respected here of course when he's here I show support to the projects he do because he was the one bringing us the real back in the 90s 80s and 90s you know so definitely Lil J is loved here and this is like a second home for them so, meaning why I'm mentioning all of this, not to try to say, oh, man, that make him sound gangster. No, it don't. It just, I'm bringing all this up to say I was surprised to see Junior on a, on a streaming platform, you know, going like, like in some streaming app like that, just going, that's just not... From what I know of him, it's like not what he do. He don't do things like that for like clout chasing or nothing like that. You never gonna get that out of Junior. Junior don't care about props like you no know, some people on the internet. He doing it to show off for the gram and you know he don't normally be on that. He normally stay kind of low key, you know. He's, you know, he's going to be fresh. <laughs> don't, don't get me wrong. Junior's going to be fresh. But he normally stay low-key. You know, he but disrespect is, you know, that's just natural with over there. That whole side over there, disrespect is not tolerated. At no times. And I already know Joe would never, ever ever be disrespectful to them just knowing his character now i'm not the biggest joe button fan in the world you already know that you know i just think he has a lot of issues uh he says he's working on them. so that's in the end of the day if somebody's making changes in their life for the better period you don't mess with that man you know, like, the, the man is doing what he's doing, and he's made the corrections. He realizes he made errors in his life, and now he's doing everything correctly, and he's moving in that way. I don't see why you would mess with that man or try to bring him back to something he did way back when beforehand. And so I sent there, and I, I watched the interview. Y'all sent it to me, and... Y'all want to know what I thought about it and everything. I just I just thought it was a dead issue. You know, like, the, the, the parties that 
who had the problem with him, with Joe, I felt like if they had a problem, they should have came on the platform and actually said something to Joe. But it seemed like Junior was having the problem for them. You know, and I'm just like, well, if Junior's feeling this way, are they still feeling this way? Because Joe making it seem like I've already squashed this with them. You know, like I've, I already met them and I talked to them. I squashed it with them. Like, we all good when as far as the Migo situation, which was like literally four years ago. So, why I don't know why they were revisiting that situation, but it seemed like, you know, he was so vague about, like, what was really the problem. So, uh, you know, people got to try to put it together, and we're like, people are scratching their head, like, what is the only problem that I could see? Because I wasn't even thinking about the Migo situation at all until they brought it, because I don't know what control and interest they had with Yachty. And all of that. That ruined Yachty's career, though. You know, when they brought Yachty on Everyday Struggle and when Joe did what he did, and I always told you I felt that that was ridiculous. Like, if I was representing Yachty, I wouldn't have sent him on that show like that. That ruined him. That ruined Yachty. I mean, and Yachty's a good kid. You know what I'm saying? I've never spoken anything bad about the kid. That's the one thing people, and all you guys hated Yachty up and down. I'm like, I don't deal with his music, but I can't say it's not hip hop. He's doing something new and different. And that's what hip hop is. You don't have to like his music. You know, it might not be for you, but there's some people that was liking his music. So I was like, I can't, so I can't just say he, it's not hip hop and th throwing him out of hip hop. That would be wrong. And I've always stated that about Lil Yachty. And I always try to get people to see that. Like, look, you guys got to see. Somebody's liking this music. <laughs> I'm like, it's not me. It's not for me. But somebody like it. And he had did a song for Sprite. And he got it. And they was dumping on it so hard. And I was like, man, they are really coming down on this kid. So when he went in on Lil Yachty like that. On the show, I remember that, and I was like, "This is yeah, this part ain't cool," you know. Like, it was so bad that right after that, that's what led to the incident over there at the um, with the walk off of the Migos and everything else that blew them up. Cause that happened right before that, and Yachty didn't want to come and on the show when they were there live at the war show. Yachty's like, I'm not even coming over there. But academics played a part in that. Yachty dealt with academics. You know, so I guess Ak gonna say, I didn't know what Joe was gonna do. But Ak is the reason he was there. So, you gotta put that in perspective as well, too. But Joe was the one that had felt a certain way about it. So it just is what it is. He should have never did that with Yachty. I felt that that was just wrong to have somebody on your show. And you just, I mean, he was belittling him like a child, basically. And just like dumping on his music. Because he, he felt like this is the guy I could do it with. You know, which was mad disrespectful. But Complex loved it. They let off with a clip. Whoever did the editing for the show, they didn't edit that part out. They promoted it. They rode the wave. And then when the Migo thing blew up, oh, they promoted the hell out of that, didn't they? They were a hit. Now, if we're going to talk about the Drake situation. I already told you what that was about as far as a rapper and where Joe was in his mind and where Drake was. Joe was looking like, I'm going to drop my final album. I'm going to come in dissing Drake, who I'm cool with, who was a fan of, 
fan of my work. You know, Dre is like Drake is like the biggest artist in the world. And he don't have to deal with Joe at all. On no level. And he was that's just the niceness and the kindness of Drake's heart because he's from Canada. He's not really from here. So when he comes here, he you know, he you know, he's not Hollywood like that. He he he's not in the, in his mind not thinking like you you're a one hit wonder. You washed up. What the heck am I doing hanging out with you? You know, like <laughs> he could have just said that. He didn't have to hang out with Joe. He didn't have to do any of these things. So all this was about was Drake once dated to hear he took her, flew out. Treated her like a lady. And Joe was hot. He was hot. Knowing he wasn't with her no more. She was free to do anything she wanted to do. They were hot. Completely hot about it. Hot and bobbing. Right? Then what happened? You had another situation arise. Drake and and Joe, I guess, come to an understanding that it was over. He wasn't going to diss, you know, all these Drake disses that he had prepared already. He just put out about four or five songs. It was going nowhere. And his album was about to just tank anyway nobody was moving it and he got out of rap business then Joe decided once Pusher came out he gave his honest opinion about Drake but he still had his sideline hate on there now his show that he has on his podcast he don't interview anyone he made it a habit or made it a fact that when I left Complex, I told Complex I don't want to interview people. And what did they do? They put the Migos in front of us. I told you this is why I don't want to interview these niggas. He was adamant. So on his Joe Putton podcast show, he don't have guests. He wanted to make sure he don't have any guests on his show. But in the midst of all of this situation that's going down, he made sure Pusha T was going to have a platform to come on Joe's show and talk about what was going on. The man who don't have any guests has Pusha T shows up. And be a guest on the Joe Button Podcast in the midst of what's going on with Drake and him. So if you junior and you're looking at this, these are the biggest moments of Joe's podcast career. Besides the Eminem thing. If you junior and you're looking at this and these are people you do business with and you got relationships with. You don't feel a certain way. Now, if those people, you know, behest to, to Junior, who never, who never, ever probably seen him before, or like, like they didn't even relay the message back to him, he don't know what's going on. Nobody checked back with him. He's still in the same mode. Like, well, ain't nobody talked to me. I just want to make sure I'm clear. And since I got you here, Joe, you know, let's talk. So, that was that. That's all that was. Like, okay, let's talk. So, that that was my take on it, man. I mean, there was two men really having a conversation. I don't know who these other dudes that were jumping in it. I just been like, let them two talk. And everybody else would just shut up and listen. Because they were saying things to each other that I guess they knew what they were talking about. Joe tried to make it look like he didn't understand it, but he, he kind of understood it. But Joe's looking like, I'm not trying to have a problem here. 
I mean, if I was Joe, I just would have got a little bit more direct and just be like, look, I'm not trying to have a problem. Like, where, where are we going with this? I would, because that's me. I want to make sure, from my perspective, I would want to make sure, like, okay, where we are. Like, what's, what is the problem? What is the solution? What, what do you want to gain from this conversation? Or where are we going? Like, we jostling? Are we just having a convo? Like, what's happening? Because you would want to know. You don't want to believe something that's like, oh, okay, man, that went great. And another person wasn't thinking that at all. You know, so, you know, there's no love in this game. You know, and it's this is a very difficult game. And I mean, Jay, I, I mean, if you Jay Prince Jr. and you're on the Internet and you're looking around and you're seeing things and you see the the, the almighty Jay situation with, with your pops, you know what I'm saying? And, and you see Joe Button, he, he's listening to the show. And then when you do these podcast shows that talk, people can screw your words up and take what you the energy you really didn't feel and make it the energy that they believe in their mind that you're trying to say. Sometimes they're right. But a lot of times though people be wrong. I only say that because it happened to me. You know that. You know somebody took what I said out of context and it's like somebody sent them a clip or something and only showed them that part and I'm like that's way out of context. But, you know, I'm willing to have a conversation just because I would want that person to have the information correct. So, it, it is what it is. I mean, God bless both of them brothers, man. You know, taking care of their families, moving on, getting stronger, growing, you know, expanding in businesses and helping other brothers get rich, man. And, or be you know prosperous in their lives. That's what's important. So don't forget to like the page. You know, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Once again, thank you again for your time. Appreciate you.